Society across the world has changed dramatically during the last 60 years due to advances in information and communication technology. Some ICT related changes have been good and have moved society forward. For example, the ability to diagnose hundreds of diseases quickly and accurately, or the ability to find lost children and lost pets easily and quickly using GPS, or the ability to help those with disabilities overcome or compensate for them. However, some ICT related changes have caused harm. For example, the ability to create computer viruses or the ability to detonate bombs from many miles away using the internet or a telephone or the ability to distribute widely child pornography. There are some ICT related changes which appear to have had little ethical effect, simply moving us sideways. For example, the ability to enter numbers into a machine using a keyboard, or the ability to make a phone call from your home to someone else's, or the ability to quickly make a list of items which can be subsequently stored, modified and transmitted. We tend to ignore the potential dangers of technology because we have become addicted to ICT and all that it offers. Many aspects of society now have a physical, psychological and or economic dependence on ICT. Often such dependence has been fueled by technologists, businesses and governments with their overly optimistic predictions of the potential benefits to us all of embarking down the digital pathway. Those who demand caution are often dismissed as skeptics or heretics. But in planning and developing ICT, ethical dimensions must be considered so the potential positive, negative and neutral impacts on society organisations and individuals can be understood and appropriate action taken. Here at De Montford University, the Centre for Computing and Social Responsibility researches into such issues and educates the professionals of the future so that our ICT dependent society is one where technology enables and protects people rather than restricting, exploiting or harming them.